Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lectures, we finished designing the app UI. In this lecture, we'll set up the Firebase service for the app. All right, let's get started. So first, let's open up the Firebase website. In case you don't know, it's firebase.google.com. Here, you can see all the services they offer, like user authentication, real-time data synchronization, data storage, and things like that. With its new features, Firebase makes it very easy to build complex apps. So uh, go ahead and check out their website. There's lots of cool stuff in there. And yeah, Firebase is owned by Google, so you can use your Google account to sign in. It's all pretty great. If you don't have a Google account, go ahead and create one, because you'll need one to test the Google login feature in our app anyway. All right, so here we already signed in using our account, so we're just gonna go ahead and click go to console link in the navigation bar. All right, the link will direct us to our dashboard, which lists all our Firebase projects. Right now we don't have any project except the default one created by Firebase. So let's create a new Firebase project and name it uh, GoChat. Cool. All right, don't worry about pricing for now because it's gonna be free until you hit certain usage limits. All right, so it's perfectly fine for learning. All right, so there's a few options here. It has a Firebase for Android, iOS, and web apps. We're gonna go ahead and choose the iOS option, obviously. All right, so now the installing process. We first need to input the app bundle ID. It's the ID we set up when we created the app in Xcode. So click the project in Xcode and find the app bundle identifier. This is the one Firebase is asking for. Uh, so let's copy it over. Let's copy it over and add app. Okay, it's adding our app. When it's done, there'll be a file downloaded to our computer. We'll need, this to, we'll need to add this file to our project as they said here. Move Google service file, blah, 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 to your project. So let's just follow them. First, let's open Xcode. Actually, uh, oh yeah, here's my Xcode. Now, drag the plist file we've just downloaded to the project, just Put it anywhere you like. Check copy items if needed, then finished. Now, if we click the plist file, we'll see all information we need to integrate our app to Firebase. These are like um, API key, client key, and things like that. This plist file is simply some sort of configuration file. All right, so now let's import Firebase to our app, okay? We'll do that using something called CocoaPods. Google Services uses CocoaPods to manage dependencies. Uh, if, you would, if you want to read more about CocoaPods, let's head to its website. So, basically, it's some sort of dependency manager we use to install API packages and things like that. To install pods, simply type sudo gem install CocoaPods in your terminal. Once you install pods, you'll need to, in, you'll need to uh, create a pod file by typing pod in it in your terminal. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So first open the terminal. Okay, okay, then navigate to the project folder. So type CD space and the path of the project folder. You can get this path by selecting the project folder in Finder, and then you can just drag it to the terminal. All right, then hit enter. Good, hit ls to see what's in this folder. All right, so we have GoChat folder, GoChat project, and a readme file. You probably don't have a readme file, but it's not really important. They're in, our, they're in your project folder. Don't worry about the git folder too. Okay, good. Now, let's start implementing packages we need to integrate Firebase to our project. We'll first create a pod file by typing pod in it in the terminal. In this file, we'll say things like, hey pod, I need this package, that package, remember those, I'll ask you to install them later. All right, now we have a pod file in our project folder. 
Let's open this file and tell Pod what packages we want to install. We need to install Firebase, so say. Hey Pod, I need Firebase. Then uncomment the second line because we're building iOS apps. Let's see. Yep, we're good. Let's save the file. Now let's go back to terminal to install the package. Hey Pod, please install packages I told you in Pod file. Great. Pretty simple, right? Pod will install every package we wrote in Pod file. We specified Firebase in Pod file, so Pod will grab all Firebase components for us. It'll create a XC workspace file, a sort of new project file, so that we can build our app with Firebase. All right, okay, this new, fo this new file is now in the project folder. Before moving on, let's close down the Xcode project file because now we'll be working with the XC workspace file. Mm hmm all right, so the new file is now opened. But let's head back to Firebase. Okay, now everything's installed, but we'll need some coding to connect Firebase to our app. First, choose Swift language to see the command they recommend. All right, in the app delegate class, we need to import Firebase and do some configuration. So let's open the de app delegate class and put in the code. Okay, import Firebase. We'll configure Firebase in the application function because we want the system to do that right after the app launch. Type fire app configure. Cool, now let's run the project. Oh, uh, by the way, let's click finish on Firebase website to create the app on Firebase. Great, we now have everything we need. All right, the console says Firebase is now enabled. We can now use all Firebase features in our app. All right, in the next few lectures, we'll authenticate users using Firebase. All right, see you then.